The Howard Hansen Dam, 32 miles upstream from Auburn. For almost five decades, it stood guard over the Green River Valley, protecting communities like Kent, Auburn, Renton, and Tukwila from the raging waters of the Green River. Before the dam, the mostly agricultural valley flooded almost yearly, costing many their homes and livelihoods. But in 1962, the Army Corps of Engineers answered the demand for flood control. The Howard Hansen Dam was built. It tamed the river and transformed the valley. The lure of dry, buildable land attracted homes and businesses. For the first time, residents felt safe to build in what had been a floodplain. The price of land shot up. Farming gave way to commerce. The valley developed into one of the most vital transportation and commercial hubs in the region. Groceries, furniture, clothing, airplanes, electronics, all now shipped and distributed from warehouses and factories in the Green River Valley. The Green River Valley is the largest manufacturing and distribution center in the entire state of Washington. The impact to our economy is just beyond most people's awareness. It also is a major center for jobs. Many, many people get up in the morning and drive to the valley to go to work. And also, it's a major transportation hub. It's a, a freight corridor. But now there's a significant threat to the dam and the entire Green River Valley. The hillside next to the Howard Hansen Dam is leaking. The Army Corps of Engineers discovered a depression, not in the dam itself, but in the earthen abutment it's built into. There are external signs that after the flood last January, that it is not stable. And those external signs were some sinkholes that appeared on the top and uh, water coming through, seeping through the landfill that was both faster, higher volumes, and they contained silt, meaning it was coming, eroding something somewhere. The Corps is developing a temporary fix, working around the clock to inject a kind of concrete grout into the porous abutment. We're doing a grouting operation where we are constructing, constructing a grout wall 450 feet long, anywhere from 60 to 190 feet deep, and to be finally finished at 20 feet thick. That's to reduce or, and minimize the uh, amount of seepage through the right abutment. Uh, we're also uh, constructing additional horizontal and vertical drains in our seepage tunnel. But the fix is temporary and untested. The Corps says it will take three to five years to construct a long-term solution. Meantime, the Corps says it will have to severely limit the water level behind the dam. The result? If there's a big storm like the one in 2009, more water could be pushed down the river than has been seen in decades. The potential for flooding is higher now than it has been in the last 50 years. It is a natural floodplain, and the only thing that makes it not right now is the dam, and to a smaller extent the levees, but mostly the dam. This could be one of the most significant events that could happen to King County, short of a major earthquake. Um, in terms of its impact to people and its impact to property, uh, the risk to lives and the risk to the economic health of the entire uh, region. Potentially, homes, highways, and rail lines could be inundated by floodwaters. Even homes and businesses that don't get wet could experience sewer backups and power outages. Transportation will be severely disrupted. King County is working to protect some of its facilities now, before the rains come. What can you do? If you live or work in the Green River Valley, it's time to get ready. There are things you can do now. Make an emergency plan and put together an emergency kit. Buy flood insurance now. It takes 30 days for a policy to take effect. Take a look at your current policy. A standard insurance policy will not cover flood damage. Also, get coverage for sewer backups. Standard homeowners policies do not cover this either. Buy an AM or NOAA weather radio with batteries in case of power outages. 
monitor area news media for information if severe weather is predicted. It is potentially the King County version of Katrina and uh, we are treating it like that and we will be ready and the cities will be ready and the state will be ready but the citizens also need to be ready. To find out more about getting ready for possible flooding in the Green River Valley, visit kingcounty.gov slash floodplans and stay tuned to King County TV, your source for continuing information about potential flooding from the Howard Hansen Dam.